Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very small unboxing. It's right there, shouldn't take too long. It's not a giant jewelry lot. <laughs> um, first things first, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I think you can also click this bell the notification button that way anytime I post up a new video you'll get a um, notification that there's a new video ready on my channel um, as always if you see anything in this or any of my videos that you're interested in purchasing please reach out to me sales at the creative cottage dot net um, let me know what video you're looking at um, the timestamp of the item and a brief description of the piece or pieces you're interested in um, and if we agree on a price, I can send you an invoice, including shipping via PayPal. Um, but at the bottom of my videos, um, the description always has my links to my website, my Etsy store, my eBay store, Facebook, Pinterest, where else? So I mostly list this stuff on eBay. Again, if there's anything you're interested in, just let me know, and we'll, we can work out a deal. So, this came from a shopgoodwill.auction I won. Um, uh, earring, bracelets, necklaces, copper, burnt gold tone costume jewelry. Burnt? What? <laughs> Um, looks like I was the only bidder on this auction. Got it for $7.99. And then shipping and handling and etc. were more than the actual auction. So I'm all in for $22.81 it looks like. And this is coming from Goodwill in Zanes Zanesville, Ohio. So here's what I've got. It's just a small lot of copper tone jewelry. I know silver and gold are probably more popular than copper. I don't know, but I really like the copper. Um, so if nothing else, I guess I've got a whole lot of um, jewelry. <laughs> and looks like they put it into two baggies. Like I said, it should not take that much time to do this one today. I actually forgot what I ordered because I had won a couple auctions like a day or two ago. And I'm like, well, it can't be those. I just paid for those. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot about this lot. I've been trying to get copper jewelry for a long time, but it, it just seems like people are bidding crazy prices. So I don't know if this one kind of flew under the rain, radar because it was a smaller lot like instead of like five pounds of copper jewelry or like 20 pounds of copper jewelry it was just like um i don't know probably 15 20 pieces i'll have to add it all up at the end so the first one i have this bright and shiny copper cuff bracelet that's what it looks like on the inside i don't see any maker's marks that's kind of fun I could do that one for $3. And when I'm um, shouting out prices uh, on YouTube, I don't know what to do for prices. I'm trying to be fair. If I list this on eBay, it will be much more than $3. Because on eBay, it takes, I think, around 15% of the final sales price. And like if I list anything on Poshmark, they take 20%. Here's a little, I think this is an artisan, like handmade, um, it's just wire and beads. See beads and some little faceted beads, kind of amber tone. That's real cute. A nice shape. I could do that for $2. And I think I just saw a mark on this one, or am I hallucinating? Maybe I'm hallucinating. Oh, yes. Here it goes. Uh, what's that say? I've got to get my jeweler's loop. 
blind as a bat. Where'd it go? It disappeared already. Wow. There it is. Plunder? Like, pirate booty. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna focus. No. I'll do that one for two dollars. Ooh, look at these. These are earrings. They're almost as big as that bangle bracelet. <laughs> So kind of hammered copper, but it's very lightweight. It's like, almost feels like aluminum, maybe. Kind of this antique -y finish. You can do those for $2. Ooh, these are big. Let me see if I can get them on the rack. So do y'all like wearing big earrings? I know that was kind of a thing back, like when I was in high school and college. It was like, whoo-hoo, we'll tell you how many decades ago that was. <laughs> Are these big hoop earrings coming back in style? They let me know in the comments. There's those. Then... This just looks like dark red enamel hoops with a little pierced earring closure. It's a little wire and a YouTube channel and you YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> a U-shaped channel there and you click the wire down there. Yes, you are on my YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wait, am I going to put these on this little stand? So I'm still trying to figure out how to sell this stuff. Like I said, I don't think I have enough followers yet on YouTube to make any direct sales. I've only been doing this for about two weeks, and I don't know, i got like 48, 50 followers. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> So that's why I'm listing stuff on eBay, but I would love to get enough followers so I could um, start selling on YouTube. You know what I just found out? One of my videos from a few days ago, I did an unboxing of a small jewelry supply order that I got from Fire Mountain Gems. Like I got this loop and a color, a couple other things. My ring mandrel. So I shouted out to rings and rings and things. Fire Mountain Gems and they made, they saw it and they made a comment so I thought that was cool because like I said I don't have very many followers. <laughs> but um, that video has ads on it. I'm like I am nowhere near being uh, qualified to monetize my YouTube channel and after some research um, I found out that a few years back YouTube said yeah you know even if you're not monetized we can put ads on your video and you won't get any money for it because you're not monetized yet. I was like, wow. Seriously? I don't necessarily want ads on my videos at this point. Like I said, I've got, what, like 12 videos? I'm just small potatoes. I don't know. So that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> so these are cute. It's just little acrylic um, balls. They almost look like Jasper, but it's just lightweight acrylic. This kind of antique -y coppery gold tone. We can do those for uh, $2. Oh, my cat's meowing at me in the background. She either wants a snack or she wants to play. And the poor pitiful thing. Oh, people can hear you. So, I'll do these for a dollar. They're little faux copper tone pearls on copper wire. My cat, my shadow, is trying to climb up the back of my chair. Oh, cat! Say hello. Say hello. Oh, that's probably too close. <laughs> Ooh. She's crazy. 
I can do these for three dollars. These feel like heavier, almost real copper, or just copper color, something. Really nice, medium size hoopies in great condition. Can't no, she's trying to get up on my desk now. Problem is she sees all this jewelry and to her it's like, ooh, can I play with it? It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, where's she going? These are fun. I usually don't really like these little tassely jewelry items because I feel like the tassels start to get a little funky looking. Cause you know it's thread. But um Kind of peachy, coppery thread, tassels, uh, silver tone, metal. Almost has a sterling look. I don't think it is. Let me look real quick. Yeah. And it has this cool giant kind of hook. Ooh, price. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get those in there. We could do those for $3. Put these down here. And the last item in this first bag, we still have this bag to go through. Uh, this looks like a homemade beaded necklace. It's kind of like this netted seed bead pattern on the back. But it's tons of wonderful goldstone chips. Let me get my cat. And goldstone isn't an actual gemstone. It's glass. But it's beautiful. And this is what the clasps. It's got these two beaded beads. And then two loops. So it, I guess it's adjustable for size. Let me see if I can get this on. I have a hard time with bracelets sometimes by myself. I almost need, feel like I need a personal dresser. I can't get to get my bracelet on. <laughs> Oh, come on. There you go. And see, I've got it on the biggest setting, but you could make it smaller if you wanted to. That's just real nice. We'll do that one for $5. And let's see what's in this bag. Copper Beauty. Ooh. Here's another, um, looks like handmade artisan piece. It's, uh, one, two, three, four, five strands of seed beads and bugle beads and kind of a root beer and dark coppery, almost bronze color. And this little sil silver chain. We'll do that for $2.00. And we've got this beauty. It's kind of this ambery or root beer color seed beads, multiple strands. And then these, I can't tell, are they wood? Cork? Something very lightweight. And here's what the clasp looks like. You can do that for $3. Oh no, paparazzi. Hmm. This one, I'm going to put this into crafts for dollars. It's lightweight acrylic beads, three stands, but it's on the, what is this, like Ac Acuflex or Beadalon gold color multi strand wire. But see, it gets, it's bent. It's not meant like to be like this. You're supposed to use it cover it totally up with beads to make necklaces. So it's a little funky. You, I mean, it is wearable, but I'm going to put it in crafts for a dollar. So if you want to chop it up just to use the beads, reuse the beads, you're welcome to do that. Ooh, here's some fun earrings. Looks 
like um, glass amber beads, and I think these spacers are like plastic or acrylic and dangly, sparkly, fun. See if I can get them on here. Oh, I didn't give you a price. Um, Two dollars. I only have, I think, four pieces left to go. So these are wood. I guess they're co kind of coppery color, but they're wood on kind of an antique gold fish hook. We'll do those for a dollar. If I list this on eBay, I'm get, probably going to do a whole lot. The, instead of listing the individual pieces just to save time. Um, if I do it as a whole lot, um, I might do it as an auction starting at $14.99 or I might list it for higher as a best buy it now or best offer. This, I think, is some sort of gemstone. I don't know what. It's almost got greeny turquoise look to it like these are carved beads but it's an awful lot of brown it's like maybe a lower grade of turquoise because there's I mean I have seen green turquoise before I like the green turquoise but there's just more of the brown matrix than there is of the actual turquoise color and it's fun it's cool so you're very wearable here's the class or you could, and they're knotted in between each bead. Or you could just cut it up to use in your own projects. Cause, because this is stone, it it has a bit of weight to it. Um, I'll do that for $6. And then, I got two paparazzi pieces. Isn't that like inexpensive? Is that Claire's or someone? But... Usually I get mad when I get this kind of jewelry. Oh, there goes my cat seer. <laughs> so, for these two paparazzi necklaces, I'll do them $3 each. I don't know. This one's got a bunch of little danglies and chain on this kind of Rolo chain. And then the last piece... Is this kind of bib necklace? It's another paparazzi. So there's that. So that's it. It was really short and sweet. How many pieces did I get total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So eighteen pieces total. Um, yeah. That was fun. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more new videos. Let me just really quickly go around so you can see, see everything. All right, everyone. See you later. Bye.